ready in reply it has been submitted by the learned agp that the case of the prosecution is no doubt based on circumstantial evidence since the fir indicates that the murder was committed by some unknown persons around 6:30 pm on 7th august 2007 but complicity of the accused persons was found during investigation on ground that the deceased narendra divivedi deputy jailer of meerat jail was very honest diligent and young officer and he wanted to carry out jail reform and the accused persons did not like such an honest officer and tried to eliminate him at convenience and for securing their objective they in collusion with others hatched deeply rooted conspiracy and killed the deceased such murder is not only an offense simpliciter like other murders but also an offense of particular nature and an attempt to suffocate life and vice of those officers who are honest and diligent and this attitude of the offenders need be dealt with sternly by the court it is a crime against the whole society the motive for committing the crime has been reasonably proved not only this mrs sandhya dwivedi wife of deceased has categorically stated that at the time when she came out of her home along with the deceased accused rajiv kumar singh was conversing on telephone about departure of deceased from his home and soon thereafter deceased was shot dead certain witnesses who saw the occurrence and who gave statement to that effect to the investigating officer have been owned over by the accused and they did not support the incident before the trial court but their statements recorded by the investigating officer are substantial one and carry element of truth which statement cannot be overlooked while appreciating the merit of the case may be that the investigating officer failed to collect the entire evidence but the material collected during the course of investigation is fair enough to establish guilt of the accused even no cause has been shown for false implication of the accused for causing murder of narendra dwivedi all the links of the chain of circumstances have been consistently proved which exclude every hypothesis of innocence of the accused and point to the culpability of the accused that they and they alone were involved in killing the deceased para submission has also been made on behalf of the complainant through counsel sri amit daga learned counsel oc fearlessly claims that the incident itself shows that the deceased narendra dwivedi was brutally murdered the deceased was killed because he was honest hard working and reputed officer who never succumbed to the vice of the corrupt and that attitude was detested by the accused persons and they were inimical towards the deceased they hatched intriguing conspiracy to eliminate the deceased it is a case where crime has been committed against a man purely devoted to his duty he was striving to carry out jail reform particularly on the administrative side the investigating officers did not carry out their duty cast upon them by law para relevant call details which would have accurately 
pin pointed guilt of the accused was not collected for reasons best known to the investigating officer there was lot of evidence indicating various clues and establishing involvement of the appellants in the commission of the crime but the investigating officers deliberately omitted to collect substantial relevant and important material the investigating officer worked in most casual manner and the higher authorities kept themselves aloof from such particular case and did not care to entrust the investigation to higher police officer not below rank of deputy superintendent of police and above for eliciting the truth even the higher authorities tried to hush up the matter for the reasons best known to them the fact is that the higher authorities knew it well that the deceased was an honest and hard working officer and he refused to yield to the demand of corrupt officers and such officer was killed brutally and higher authorities deliberately sidelined themselves